25th of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start in Japan today. A Japanese nuclear reactor that slowed down when jellyfish partially blocked a seawater intake resumed normal operations on Friday. Operator Chaguku Electric Power Company said output from the 820 megawatt reactor fell to 770 megawatts on Thursday after the jellyfish partly covered the entrance of a seawater supply pipe. The Hiroshima-based utility said the fall in the number of jellyfish enabled the number two reactor at its Seoul um, Semane, S-H-I-M-A-N-E, plant returning to operation at full capacity on Friday, it said. So apparently we've got, uh, we've got jellyfish <clears throat> blocking up intake valves. Uh, to nuclear reactors in Japan and causing situations. It just doesn't end, does it? And those are big, huge intakes, too. That had to be a lot of jellyfish. Earth Changes, Scott.net, the United Kingdom, Bovi Tracy Earthquake Shakes Devon. Uh, they had a 2.7 earthquake, and um, a lot of this is, uh, they're saying, having to do from the natural gas fracking. And again, if you don't know what fracking is, um, I'm not going to fill it in, but uh, you definitely need to look into the chemicals they use to inject to frack the water supply to get the natural gas out. China, Taiwan warn to strengthen of tropical storm. It must be a translated piece. China alerted Shanghai and four coastal provinces Friday evening that a tropical storm is expected to intensify and become the season's first typhoon to strike China. Storage depots and uh, were open to prepare to distribute emergency supplies as China already struggles with the disastrous seasonal flooding that has put sources uh, scores of reservoirs near their limits. So again, everybody's flooding. We're flooding here in the United States. China's flooding. Um, I haven't really heard much out of Russia, except for their fires, of course. Um, and again, the Churchill Downs horse racing canceled after the tornado hit the stables, and um, they did a lot of damage down there, but that's been all over the news. I'm sure most of my people are all over that. Um, surprising threat looms for wildfire scorched Arizona. Rain. The Wallow Fire in Arizona is the largest in state history and has scorched more than 532,000 acres and although firefighters have the blaze more than 65% contained, once the flames are finally extinguished, the danger may not be over. Monsoon season is on the way. And instead of providing sweet relief for the region in the grip of the year-long drought, the coming cold or rain could spell disaster. Um, bringing, bringing a spat of landslides and floods to the parched and burnt landscape. So all the foliage has been burned away and there's nothing to hold the soil in. So when all this uh, monsoon rain comes in, phew, so Arizona, you are not out of the fire at all. Santa Cruz Islands earthquake magnitude 6.3, and that's in the Solomon Islands in the Pacific, South Pacific. More than 53,000 people flee storm in the Philippines. More than 53,000 people were, uh, were in evacuation centers in the Philippines on Friday after fleeing their homes following today's torrential rains caused by tropical storm Miri, officials says. More than 7,000 people um, fled their homes overnight in the capital of Manila alone as the storm added seasonal monsoon rains bringing massive flooding to city streets, uh, the Civil Defense Agency said. 16 dead in landslides in Northeast India. 16 people in Northeast India have been killed by landslides triggered by heavy monsoon rains, a senior police official said on today. The deaths occurred overnight in the villages perched on the steep mountainsides near the town of Pelling in the scenic Himalayan state of Sikkim. And the story goes on. <clears throat> and of course the 7.2 earthquake and um, the Fox Islands in uh, Alaska. 
uh, fear story. Pennsylvania storm drops two inches of rain in Stroudsburg area in a half an hour. Heavy rain from thunderstorms Wednesday afternoon led to pounding on the roadways and low-lying and poor drainage areas across the southern Ponacos. The area caught a small but potent storm cluster developed over Pocono front and moved to the east just south of Interstate 80 after 4 p.m., said a Pocono weather expert Ben Gilbert. And blah, 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 yeah, massive rain all at once and, of course, flooding, and we all know that story. Over to the extinction protocol, drought and wildfire crisis, state of emergency issued for 33 counties in Oklahoma. June 24th, Oklahoma City, Lieutenant Governor Todd Lamb has declared a state of emergency for 33 Oklahoma counties because of extreme and exceptional drought conditions at the associated and associated wildfires. Lamb issued the declaration on Friday at the request of Gov uh, Governor Mary Fallon, who was in Ireland this week attending her daughter's wedding. The executive order marks the first step towards seeking federal assistance should it be necessary. The declaration may be amended to include additional counties and conditions warrant. The actions come comes as dozens of firefighters battle a blaze near Lawton that has destroyed 13 homes and scorched about uh, 5,500 acres. And again, fires, 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 that's that drought area, but here comes the monsoon. Whirlwinds and a wave of turbulent weather leave seven dead in Vietnam. Officials uh, and state media say flash floods and whirlwinds have killed seven people, tornadoes, left three others missing and injured 60 in northern Vietnam, disaster official Tran Van Nam of Yen Bai province said Friday that the authorities have recovered the body of a 20-year-old man and are searching for three more people who were swept away by flash flooding and uh, high wind damage, and we know the story. Magma rising on tall volcano, public caution to stay away from Philippine volcanoes on alert. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology has warned against any activity near the tall Mayon or Bulusan volcanoes that rock falls and ash explosions may occur due to bad weather. In its 8 a.m. bulletin, they said uh, that while the Tal Volcano was still on alert level 2, magma could be seen rising towards the surface, as shown by continuing high emission rate of carbon dioxide being released in the main crater lake and sustained seismic activity. And they've got three volcanoes on the move. Sin Sin Scenic UK County, okay, that's the 2.7 magnitude uh, earthquake with the fracking going on in England. Uh, the landslides in India. And uh, nothing else really new on that. A quick roll through on RSOE. We have a <clears throat> hailstorm in Scotland. Um, it's some severe hailstorm, um, just normal Midwestern thunderstorm stuff, but the locals aren't used to this, and they were saying this is a, a they might think it was a weather or a winter style storm, but uh, their weather meteorologists are telling them no, that you know this us Midwesterners know that this hot weather and this torrential downpours is a, a, a hail maker. So they're having some odd hail in Scotland, landslides in Japan. Uh, the, the Nagano pre Prefecture, um, they're, they're reporting mudslides and uh, 50 kilometers of state road was covered over and damage in that. Uh, also, they're reporting a heat wave in the prefecture of Saitama and uh, Kumagaya. The tropical storm, of course, in the Philippines, the nuclear event in the, the Chamonix nuclear power plant, the one I opened up the story with. Da, da, da. And that is about it for today. And then um, what's new out of Fukushima, Japan, I have a couple of videos I'm going to attach below. Mary Greeley put these out. Uh, Japan drone copter nearly crashes at Japan nuclear plant in Fukushima. And the point of this is, is these, they're using radio-controlled military robots to, to take different samples and testing. Of course, that's safer than sending human beings in there all for that. But these machines are starting to break down due to radiation exposure. Um, they're just not really telling it that way. So 
This is definitely a video you want to pay attention to. Will President Obama visit flooded Iowa despite nuclear threat on Tuesday? And another story Mary put out today that, uh, of course, I'm in Iowa and President Obama is supposed to visit Dubuque. And, um, <clears throat> and he's talking about um, economic growth and, of course, he's running for president and this is a political thing. But uh, one of the Iowa congressmen and uh, the Nebraska congressman asked him to come visit the flood-ravaged area of, of um, the Missouri River because we need federal aid for the farmers and, and the damage and whatnot, and it's easier to get that aid when the president actually sees with his own eyes the devastation, that kind of thing. But the question she's putting out is, is if this uh, we're having serious problems with uh, Fort Calhoun and the Cooper nuclear power plants, will Obama show? Will he go tour the Missouri River? And uh, Tuesday will be the deciding factor on that. Is he going to make a surprise appearance, or is it really worse than they're really telling us? And, uh, like I said, that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, um, leave your comments or attach your videos below. Thanks for all your support, and enjoy away again.